Hey guys, HW here. Come back to the city today. It's um, lunchtime during the week. We're outside the event cinema, the old cinema complexes of, of Sydney on George Street. It used to be Hoyt's back in the old days. And there was a, I think there was a Greater Union next door to it. Um, there's the McDonald's that's been around since day dot on, on George Street across the road from the cinemas. And what I thought we'd do today was seeing that it's a miserable sort of day, I thought we'd take a tunnel that actually extends almost a kilometre under the city, takes you underneath George Street here, through Town Hall, through the QVB building, um, and into uh, Meyer and Grace Brothers. So for you people that, um, and I might just head down this laneway here because there's a lot of people starting to mill around. Um, for you people visiting Sydney for the first time, it's a great way to keep out of the heat of the sun in summer, uh, keep out of the cold in winter, and uh, keep out of the rain, obviously. So let's get into the tunnel now. We're starting at George Street across the road from the cinemas, and we'll see what shops are still open. We'll see what else has changed along the way. So come get around it with me. So a few fashion outlets and cafes and things that I can recognize that are still open. Or under 580 George Street. And there's actually a food court up there, up those escalators there, which I used to go to sometimes. Up there you can exit out onto, um, I think it's Bathurst Street. So seeing this, it extends into the uh, rail station of Town Hall. You know, it'd be to be expected that there'd be still a fair few shops open. You've still got to, um, service those commuters, yeah? It's a sandwich shop. Right on the corner. Hey, entering into Town Hall now. They used to be able to get around the back here, but now you've actually got to go into the station before you can get around to the other side. Because one of the things I'm going to do is I'll walk through this tunnel. I'm just not going to go straight all the way. I'm going to go out into the branches so where where the tunnel branches out into different sections and different streets i'm going to explore those for you as well to give you a look it's another entrance to the town hall station there It's darker in the tunnel here than I thought, so it's probably going to spoil the film a bit. But and there's the um, entrance into Woolworths supermarket there. And they've turned the um, the homewares or fashion section of that into a big W now. And the levels up above. So soon we couldn't get around to the other side. We had to walk all the way around here. I'm just going to show you where the tunnel extends into, uh, uh, actually underneath the town hall building itself. And there's another arcade there and set of shops. Yeah. 
好不好？ There it is. It's called Town Hall Square. That cafe there has been there for a fair while. It's got a little nice little fountain on the back wall. She's an operating. It's a few uh, fashion outlets still kicking along in Town Hall Square here. Luggage shop. Cafe. Price line pharmacy there. And in the old days, all of the food outlets used to be down the back here. It looks like they're, some of them are still here. Yeah. There's a couple of food outlets. And then as the sign says here, take this part of the arcade down to Bathurst Street and this part of the arcade into uh, the forecourt of Town Hall. So yeah, let's turn around, get going in the main direction again. Hopefully the stabilization on the GoPro stabilizes the, the view for you. I guess it's shaking around quite a bit. I think now with the extra weight of the uh, Rode microphone transceiver up the top, it's making it wiggle around a bit. Or maybe it's just my little mini tripods just getting old. So as I said before, it's around lunchtime, so there's a fair few people milling around, starting to make their way to the lunch spots. But, um, for your visitors to Sydney coming for the first time, remember this tunnel that extends from George Street past Town Hall through Queen Victoria Building into Meyer and David Jones. So it'll save you getting wet in the rain and uh, and the hot sun if you come in summer so here's the part of the tunnel that branches out into the galleries victoria which i filmed in the last video that i did and then in that video um we saw some of the food outlets that are up there but that'll take you out onto Pitt Street eventually. Oh yeah, that fish and chip shop there. So we're starting to get into the Queen Victoria building part of the tunnel now. That fish and chip shop's always been there. This German bakery's been here forever. I don't know about this chat time, not sure about that. So beautiful old elevators of the Queen Victoria building. That's uh, Victoria's basement down there, which is a um, big kitchen warehouse. Get dinner sets and all sorts of stuff for the kitchen. Oh, I'm on the wrong side here because I'm going to get the I'm going to get the escalator. So let me get over the other side and then sort of look up. So there's the 
various levels of the Queen Victoria building above us there. Keep going. A few jewellery stores. Shoe shop, tigers. They used to be a bit of a collector's item, those tiger shoes. I don't know whether they still are. Oh, there's another view of the Queen Victoria building up there. Always this section just here has always been jewellery stores and watch stores. But it's uh, changed a little bit. And there's always been cafes down here. This little subsection down here. There's a few boutiques happening. Lingerie stores. There's a store just for camel, just for camel backs and, and their accessories. cosmetic stores now we're hitting so we start getting closer to um, Maya the department store oh underground espresso I think I've had a nectar there before Now we're leaving the Queen Victoria building as that sign says and hitting the mid city centre, I think it's called. Or Sydney Central or something like that. Let's get up the escalator. Or maybe this is just part of Westfield now because there's a Westfield sign there. So maybe this is all Westfield now, but it used to be called the Mid City Centre, I think. Or maybe that's next door. So now we've got to get into Maya, because to stay out of the rain, we've got to get a tunnel that takes us across from Maya to the, um, the Westfield and David Jones side. So we're going to pass by all the cosmetics counters here. I'll try to keep my camera low to be a bit incognito because otherwise they'll probably tell me to stop filming or something even though I'm showing them we're showing all the tourists how to get here and you know, I think it'd, they'd be happy that I was uh, you know, collecting the tourists and pushing them into their store but you never know I can't remember what side the tunnel's on, so I'm going to have to look through different different sections until I find it. It's not on this one, so let's go up to the next level. So when I say tunnel, I should say um, bridge it's a little covered bridge that takes you across into um underneath center point tower into another another mall now on the next level 
I don't know whether this is right either. No. Gonna have to go up the next level. Maybe this will take us to the tunnel. Let's have a look. Hey, excuse me, what level is the bridge on to get across to Westville? Oh, level one. Level one? Yeah. Oh, okay, thank you. Oh, there you go, I've come too far. Could we go back down? So remember that, level one. I thought I was right when I looked down there before. Let's see how we get into this tunnel. Not too sure. It's been a while since I've done it. Somewhere along the line. Somewhere along the line. I think it's Oh, there it is. Wow, all the, the mirrors and glass, it, it's hard to see. So here's one, I think there's a couple of tunnels or bridges. This is one, I'm thinking there's one above as well. So yeah, there you go. So there's Pitt Street Mall down there. So again, we're sheltered from the elements. So you can come all the way from George Street and traverse different parts of the main part of the city without getting wet or without getting sunburn or whatever. So there you go. So now we're heading into underneath the Center Point Tower. Into I guess you describe this as the main part of Westfield. It's a lot for crystals they got here. That reminds me of the, the crystal bar in the Cosmopolitan in Vegas. Now my next challenge is to work out how do I get into David Jones. I think we can sneak in this way. So by the way, this is the level four of the Westfield. It's a food court up there. I'm not gonna go into the food court because it'll be absolutely packed. So here's the tunnel that leads you across Castle Ray Street into David Jones or into the, the ladies side of David Jones. On that corner over there is where um, the male side is. So there's Castle Ray Street. There's Castle Ray Street on that side. So yeah, look at that. We've, We've walked nearly a kilometre, completely sheltered. And now we go past the cosmetic section of David Jones. get out of the store as quickly as possible because they've got like 10,000 security guards who for sure are going to complain and tell me to stop filming or something. Oh yeah, let's 
go through these doors over here. to that noisy pass passes by and there we are we're at St James's station they didn't take us long at all now if you go across the park there there's actually that's Hyde Park there's an entrance to a, uh, a Movader which is a long moving um, walkway that takes you down to the domain um, parking lot which is pretty much all in the loo so you only have to do this quick little skip across the park and then you're under shelter again and you can get all the way down to uh, to um, Bullamaloo but yeah once you get off at the other side you'll get you'll get wet if it's raining or get fried if it's sunny summer so yeah here we go, we're outside David Jones again on Market Street. It's a, a lousy day in Sydney today, it's grey. I think it's going to rain for a few days. So yeah, I might go and find a nectar now. And then um, I'll finish off the vid for today. So see you again at the nectar joint that I choose. All right, we're inside the Westfield Shopping Centre and uh, I'm at, back at an old favourite of me and the lads called Coco Noir which is at the bottom of the escalators if you head up those escalators there you get up to the food court and I've got myself a delicious nectar here which is a flat white as per usual let me try a bit Ah, delicious. So yeah, I might end the video here. So I um, hope you enjoyed the little walk through the tunnels underneath Sydney. Um, remember that if you're coming to visit the city um, anytime soon, that you'll be able to traverse the main part of the city undercover. So enter George Street near the cinemas, through Town Hall, through the Queen, Vic Queen Victoria building, into Maya, go to level one of Maya to get the uh, tunnel bridge across to this part of Westfield here and then go up to level four of this section to get across the bridge over to David Jones and then to St James Station so yeah so I'll leave you here at Coco Noir in Westfield the video is over